MMA, 18 and 3? Was that your... 18 and 3. That, that today is a world-class uh, record. Yeah. That kind of blows my mind. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with what I did. Especially because I have 16 submissions. Yeah. Two TKOs. No. One by decision and one by TKO. All submission. And these All submissions the is where you got your name, the arm collector. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the water. I can't cut that off. You're good. You're good. <laughs> that's by accident. So uh, that's, for me, like everything has got to be, it's one part in class that I teach. Like I always like to relate it to class because it's easy for you to understand. There's times that I'm teaching like, okay, you can sweep this way. Yeah. And this that's the results you're going to get yeah. as a white belt. But I'm not training you to be white belt forever. Yeah. And we look for perfection here. Yeah. So you can sweep this way. It takes a little longer, the process, because you got to master this piece here. Yeah. But you're going to land on a better position. Mm -hmm. There's a perfection on the technique. And then for uh, for me, it was always about this. Like, I didn't, I never planned on getting a fight and get an arm bar. And I had, on the end, I had 13. I always, like, prepare myself physically, mentally to get in a cage and get the job done. Yeah. Through punches, to whatever, whatever it takes. But every time we were open, that's my uh, my strategy for fight. Every time you want to open space, it's a lottery, yeah. right? I yeah. might be the best strike ever. But if you land one punch on my draw, mm -hmm. I'm down. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know what's going to happen after that. So my that's my that's my stress. Mm -hmm. when you're in the open but the moment that i clean you i i used to talk to myself i'm home yeah you're That's in your world now. i'm home yeah you know and then most of the times like we are almost there but if i take you down i'm home yeah you got nothing on me my confidence is like 200 percent. yeah if i take you down and i'm on top of you if even if i'm playing guard you're not gonna on this scenario here on this part of the fight you're not gonna beat me mm -hmm. you don't have skills to beat me that's how much i try to master jiu-jitsu for mma mm -hmm. it's like now nah, here i won't lose to you here if you punch me on the face standing i'll lose to you but on the ground i won't lose to you now you're yeah. not gonna your sweep is not gonna be better than mine your pass is not gonna be better than mine your submission is not gonna catch me because Previous to the fight, I stud a lot my opponents, and I know what they have. You know what I mean? If your hand's super good, I'm gonna clean you as fast as I can. Yeah. You know. So and I always this, I was trying to master. But but then you think about it, right? Art of war. What's your what's your what's your weapon when we fighting? You wanna punch me? Yeah. I gotta take your weapons away. Yeah. I gotta grab your arm. You yeah. Well, mean? even if I grab your neck, you still have two hands to peel the neck off. Yeah to defend yourself, to get somewhere else. If I control one of your arms, I, I'm taking your mobility away. Yeah. And I think that's what it came from. And then every time people try to punch me, psh, I'm gone. You that's know? crazy. Well, it, it's interesting. I, I wonder how much it relates to, um, I think about other things like, so, so, so oftentimes we fall into, uh, you know, you've only done one thing. And so your mind only goes to that one thing. But if you have, if you've kind of mastered a series of, of steps in a process, then you can kind of go to the piece that gets you to the best result. I never fought the way they're like, oh, I just want an arm bar. Because that's what people thought. The fight, that for the very first fight that I lost, I got criticized a lot. Yeah. I got really like criticized at the point that like, it kind of <laughs> bothered me a little bit. Because it's like, I, it was a split decision that I, think still that I won the fight because I think I did, did way too much damage. That's the first fight that I think I fought stand for that long. I fought three rounds. Yeah. The very first fight that I that I fought three rounds. All the other fights I finished in the first round. Mm -hmm. The very first fight that I fought three rounds, I lost uh, by split decision. They say that there was a knack in there. There was another submission in there. And I only want to take the, the, the arm bar. Mm -hmm. But then when I look at the fight back, I was in knockdown. Nobody saw it, but I was in, when, I, when he, I kick him, mm -hmm. nice body kick, but I fell back and I hit the, 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 the fan. 
fast and then he came crazy so i changed level to shoot and he got me with the uppercut i see and my so you're dazed at that point now my ears started buzzing yeah and you know like everything goes into slow motion and i took him down it seems like i didn't have a grip i didn't have strength i didn't have pressure because everything i did he was like spinning out and escaping and creating scrambles like what's going on here but yeah. even, i never been on the on the spot before like in knocked down and then I lost like tons of submission. He survived the first round. I don't remember one thing that Corner says to me That's in the second crazy. round. But I fought through and I just used my instinct. You know, cut his face, elbow, yeah. use all the strike that I have. Like I brought all the tools, but I ended up losing. But that's the only time. But other than that, there was one, <laughs> there was one fight. It was one of the last one in Korea that I had, I, the kid punched really hard. He yeah. suplexed me, and then I put him on my guard. From the suplex? Yeah, no, I fall, Okay. then I put him on okay. a guard. And then he was trying ground and pound, I was controlling the arm and everything, and then I swept him, and I got a, I had the arm choke. Yeah. Because when I swept, I was like, I'm home. Yeah. I was telling myself, I'm yeah. home. <laughs> and I had the head and arm choke, nice one. And then I was like, the arm's right there. <laughs> i was like i started fighting with myself I was like the arm's right there you can't turn turn this into an arm but the arm's right there and i was like no don't mess that one up just finish <laughs> and i got i got a, a arm try on yeah, don't mess up what's right, and right. No, but, but I, that's but, what but, i love is that but you I, said. I i i i thought about the arm but i was like you thought about it i was like no just just do your, your job it was, a, it was a funny because i had so much control on the floor yeah I never had any problem like top or bottom. Like people ask me now, nowadays, like, oh, but the guard is guards obsolete nowadays. Nobody fights on a bar. No fight because you don't put time in there. You don't spend time there. The way that I develop my guard from the bottom. Okay, so I have friends in Brazil. One of them, I'll say his name, so maybe he gets this one. <laughs> his name is Alfredo. Okay, Alfredinho. Alfred and Fabio. Fabio's nice grounding pound. And then yeah. sometimes on practice, I put gloves on those guys. There was not even a MMA fighter. Like, and then Alfred was a boxer. Yeah. Besides the black belt in Jiu Jitsu. And uh -huh. I tell like, hey, put the gloves on. Hit me as hard as you can. This try, is in a sparring. Like, try to knock my head off. Like yeah. I'm on my back and yeah. he's on my guard. Like, oh, I see. Okay. Try and knock my head off. That gives me so much stress because I know he would do it if he yeah, could. Yeah. Because he, he got me a couple of times. I don't know if he could like put me to sleep if he could. And I kept like finding angles and tightening up and then controlling arm and everything. And I was like, why don't you punch me? Like, and he frustrated because I can. That's awesome. <laughs> because I can't. I was like, okay, that means that's work. So that's how I got so much confidence on me on my back on MMA. That's yeah. why I kick a lot of people because like, yeah, take me down. So what?